Hey guys and welcome back. FA Cup action tonight over here in Blackburn now. Let me tell you a fact, the last team I came up at the Blackburn World was actually was the 2016-17 season. Championship campaign for Newcastle. I came here, we've lost 1-0. Charlie bloody Mugu scored. Not only that, uh, back at St James's Park earlier in the season, we've lost 1-0 and the centre half scored again in that game. So I've had a bit of history when it comes towards Blackburn World as the Alan Shearer derby as some would like to proclaim it. However, tonight... It's a completely different story as a team that is going to be taking on a former Champions League club in Newcastle despite our iffy form at times this season, our horrendous form at the minute in the league. This still, in our point of view, should be a comfortable win tonight. I have no excuses at all. We walk away from this and we'll draw or loss. It's not good enough. We've got to win what is an important game now. We win tonight. We're going to be one game off Wembley and... Listen, there's a decent, probably around a 50-50 chance of Wood City Castle actually get a nice draw in the quarterfinals as well. So, uh, if we do win, by the way, uh, heads up for you, there will be a live stream tomorrow of the draw. So, make sure you stick around if, of course, the Castle win the game. Uh, secondly, if you enjoy the content, get down here, hit that subscribe button. Of course, we've got Wolves on Saturday and we've got a few more away games after that. So, every single match this season, we'll get them all done. As for tonight, though, my personal opinion, I think the Castle will steamroll them. Uh, we really should. Maybe I'm arrogant to say that, and you see during the game, Blackburn have quite a lot to offer, but my personal opinion, on paper, Newcastle should come to win this match. No excuses at all. Let's get into things. Let's show them what we are made of. Seven thousand two hundred Newcastle fans here tonight, and we are all the way in the upper tier. So far, there's a four flights of stairs, so it kind of feels a little bit like the level seven at St James. But um, I will say now in an upcoming video, we'll expect stuff about the the dud tickets and just everything regarding the weight tickets, because it's a massive concern for Newcastle fans. The club has adapted it, guilt you into proving innocent of course. So we'll explain it more detail in probably tomorrow's video. But, Definitely something that we need to address because it's starting to get a bit mental now. Give him that chance. Oh, oh man. Honestly, bro. Beautiful you know, redness again. I don't bad pack the long stuff, man. I don't even look where it's going. I, tell you, I think they should have scored out, you know, the black one for us. He's cut the wrong side. <laughs> So bad again. I said keep that even made a save that half. Second half has to be a hundred times better than that. Chris Poor after Newcastle. Oh, 
Oh, lad, I'm going to get much better this 45. Oh, Christ. How would, how would I get in that chance on that? I don't even get it. Much better last 10 minutes, man. Go on. Yeah! Yes! Come on! 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 Come on!
Well, the Sowers has lost it in the bad area. Oh, I, I, no way. What has Jamal the Sowers just done there? And the Sowers is just, just mess, completely messed up. Look at them all coming over here. Oh, look at them all, you little rats. I can't believe Jamal has just done that. We've been all over them before that. <laughs> I mean, the castle had complete control and the cells just flicked it onto them. No. I don't want to point the finger at how, but his Batman was completely fine today and he's rested them. And it's give up a fight on the backside. At least 30 more minutes. Oh, no excuses, we better walk away than one of us. Please. That's a, oh, that was good. Oh, how we not scored. How we not scored that. Oh, I can it. Oh, it's six yards, that was two points. But I'm at a rebound move. Missed again, I can it. We're so bad at doing anything in this game. They Go on! Go on! He's done too much. Why is he went that way? Go on! Oh, ball! A ball! No way! What is Bonds doing? I, I swear that was a handball, you know. Oh, my God. How could not score again? That's a shocker from Bonds. He's been awful since he's came on. I don't know why Gordon went to Miggy first. He went the other way, Gordon would have scored. Chances on for him there, Shaw's slipped. Oh, the bikers. I, I tell you what, the bikers been classed this game. That's came off our mess as well. Well, that's it, shootout. We only lost one early on this season. Now we've got Malaya win against Blackburn. I mean, regardless of whether we win or lose, yeah, it's just no one yeah, good enough. Right, we've won the toss. We won it last time, it didn't make a difference, right? This has to be an advantage for us. Make it count. Now, right, Fabian Shaw first. What a pen that is. I mean, honestly, the Cobb Forge had to do something like that in the show, it's crazy. Not often you put your son a half on first, but a pen like that, you can kind of see why. Come on! Right, pull him off. Right, just like your stands for him, make it look impossible for him. Right, we, need, we, need, we need more people waving their hands down there. Come on! Oh, Martin to Oh, Martin to Oh, Martin to Come on, put him off, come on! Good job putting them off there. Right. Come on, Harvey Barnes. Oh, that is it's so bad that the most celebrating down. I mean it's not it's not even anywhere near on a corner that what a terrible pen. Right, come on. Oh. I can't I can't believe Harvey Bond missed the second pen. Bruno's up next. He's I think scored one and missed one for Newcastle, so uh, big ask. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm absolutely breaking out. Go on, Bruno. Yes! I always hate when a player does a one up like that. And he's, and he's small one up, I hate it. But that was a good pen to be fair. I think with this, this portion to show that if they miss here, we're going to have a, a real good advantage on them. Come on! Boo! 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 Oh! Same 
playing with every time we've got a look lucky without one. Alright, Anderson next. Eddie Howe is quite literally subbed him on just to take a pen, which I, I'm not always a fan of. Now, he's a good pen for the under 23s, but it'd be a lot of pressure as an actual sub to do it now. So let's see, young lad, can you do it? Good pen to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Keep right now, you got a good hand in that. This is the one here, the, the Miss Newcastle score and win. I tell you what, I, 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 I fancy the Miss this, I don't know what it is. Probably the hardest pen to take so far on this stage. Martin to Fabka. Oh, Martin to Fabka. Oh, Martin to Fabka. That's a good pen as well. Well, it's now a sudden death fifth pen each. Anyone misses now, we're gonna be more or less screwed. Gordon scored a pen last week against Bournemouth. It wasn't actually a great pen. Just have to be better here. Yes! Keep my die. Keep my die too early there. Now the pressure's back in then. Uh, last pen before all the random players start taking them out. I don't fancy the castle lot, so let's um, let's wrap the game up here. Come on. Two massive pens, unreal. I mean, get in there. <laughs> Performance wise, we were pretty bad, not gonna lie, but we won, so. Doesn't matter how you do it, it's about getting into the ball. And we are on the draw, so good.
John, hello John. <laughs> Full time over here on Blackburn. Blackburn Road was one and Newcastle United won. Let's not lie, it was a horrible performance for us again. But listen, one player stood up today and his name was Martin Dupra. Go on, unbelievable performance from him. The amount of shots, especially in the, the first night that he kept out, he kept us in the game now. Uh, obviously we've rested Botman today, thought you know what, Charles said will be fine. Both of them are horrendous today. Blackburn had a lot of chances. I felt like in the in the first night after the score equaliser, they probably should have scored a second. The castle held on, we went at the extra time. We've missed some major chances ourselves. It's just a day where both teams couldn't put the ball in there. Oh, but Javago, wow, what a performance of him. Um, the castle would be fair, but once actually had quite a good pens with the exception of Harvey Barnes. I thought all four pens were quite good. Eddie Anderson as well coming on as a sub literally just to take a pen and his pen was very good as well so uh, and at our point of view obviously there's a lot of negatives let's not lie uh, let's not pretend we played good tonight I, I don't think we did but we're through that's the most important part we're through now we're in the draw tomorrow we'll see who we'll got next listen there was the likes of Coventry I think we're going to go to Wembley so um, it depends who we get first obviously if it's, if it's a City or Liverpool away I think our dreams are over but uh, depending on who it is I think there's probably half the draws left us do nice draws so hopefully we'll we get lucky enough to get one. Tonight though, massive wake up call. I've always say I think we're probably a bit fortunate to be in the draw tomorrow, but we're there. Martin de Braga deserves it 100%. He was so good. But I buzzing, we're through. Uh, that's what I care about. We've got through. <laughs> we needed extra time, we needed pens, but that was the one. And the one being the one and goal, Martin de Braga, what an unbelievable game. I was so impressed with him and I, what a performance.